Hello, this is Rob Scott. Due to recent events, that stupid fucking fish selling chairman of yours is making me do a blog for the fans. The first item on this piss stain to my manage real CV is questions from the fans. First question is from Brad Carrington of Cleethorpes. Rob, are you happy with the players you and Paul have brought in? The short answer is no. The long answer is no. Elding is a fucking long streak of useless piss. He walks in training with that fucking swagger and gangster chin strap. At first I thought fuck me. The lad has flair. But then we put him near the ball and he was more confused than a child in Scunthorpe on Father's Day. He has less desire and effort than a fat kid in Salad Bar. Anyway next question. Liam Speck from Cleethorpes asks me. How do you handle the more volatile players? Like Bradley Wood. Well when me and Paul first came to Grimsby we met the players. We shook their hands and so on. When we walked over to Bradley's cage he tried to eat my hand. He was very aggressive and still is. To vent some of his anger each full moon we release him in the countryside. He runs about. Slaughtering cows and foxes. With his bare hands. It gives him fresh air. And we sell the cow meat to factories at £100 a corpse. By the next transfer window we should have 30000 More money than the wankers in the boardroom give us. Question 3. Rob how is you and Paul's relationship with Fenty? He is a tight walleted asshole fishmonger dictator. And that's a compliment. After my famous YouTube brand. He made me do this blog. Then made me spend a night in Travelodge with his rent boy Pedo Peter Ferno. My asshole was like a collapsed Yorkshire in shaft. He may be dead. But he is more lethal than one of Rob Duff's shots. That is the questions finished if you don't agree with my answers then fuck off. Fenty said I should praise the fans but no. You fickle bastards make my life hell. One freak result and you all burn effigies of me and put a ransom on my head. The worst to the flask smuggling pensioners in the main stand they say. Why have you changed the dugouts? Why can't we beat Fleetwood? Alan Buckley would do this. Do that? Buckley would. Suck our flaccid dicks drive we lost to Braintree. Well fucking Alan isn't here. It's not 10 years ago your heroes are dead. And Oasis haven't released a good album since 98. That is the end of this shambles. Send in questions next week or choose my option. Fuck off and die. The end.